hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x plus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of x so here we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here uh, we move towards our first method and in the first method we need to break this square sign separately on both of these two values and it will be written as x plus 2 whole square divided by 2 square is equals to 1 and now here further in the next step we move this 2 square from left hand side to the right hand side and when we move it into the right hand side it will be written as x plus 2 whole square is equals to 2 square multiplied by 1 becomes here 2 square and now further in the next step we move this 2 square from right hand side to the left hand side and it will becomes x plus 2 whole square minus 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to use the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b and uh, we have uh, now here after applying this formula we write our above equation as here first you have a minus b the value of a is x plus 2 and minus the value of b is 2 only into again we have a plus b the value of a is x plus 2 and plus the value of b is 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here this is the negative and positive term are cancelled out by each other and here we get x only into this is 2 plus 2 becomes here 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x plus 4 equals to 0 so from here we get the value of x is equals to minus 4 so these are the two real roots of the given equation which we get here from first method and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is these two values are a solution of this equation or is these two values are extraneous root so here for verification we need to copy down given question statement here it is x plus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1 so this is the our question statement and in this side we will be substitute x is equals to 0 and in this side we will be substitute or we will be verify x is equals to minus 4 so here first we verify x is equals to 0 and when you put x is equals to 0 into the left hand side it will be written as 0 plus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1 or not this is the our claim and we have this implies that 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1 so this 2 and this 2 are cancelled out by each other and we get here 1 square equals to 1 so here we easily get the value of 1 equals to 1 so this shows that both of the sides are equal it means that the value of x is equals to 0 is satisfied over this given question statement and now we verify the second value of x it is minus 4 and when we put it here it will becomes minus 4 plus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1 and minus 4 plus 2 becomes minus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1 these 2 and 2 are cancelled out by each other and we get minus 1 square equals to 1 and here we get minus 1 square becomes 1 equals to 1 so this shows that again both of the sides are equal it means that both of the roots are satisfied our given question statement so finally we have the solution set of the given question is 0 and minus 4 so this is the first solution set which we get here uh, from first method and now here in the next steps we need uh, to again solve this problem for second method and in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is x plus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to 1 <clears throat> 
So in the second method, I can just give you <coughs> another smartest techniques in which we uh, quickly get the roots of this equation. So here we use the uh, square root technique uh, to solve the roots of this equation in second method. So here we can apply square root on both of the sides and it will be written as x plus 2 divided by 2 whole square is equals to square root of 1. And also you know about that when we apply a square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign in any one of the sides. So you see here these two and this square root are cancelled out by each other. And we will get here x plus 2 divided by 2 is equals to we know that a square root of 1 equals to 1. And we write here plus minus sign into the right hand side. And here further we need more simplification and here we break this value into the two cases. The first case is we write x plus 2 divided by 2 equals to plus 1. The second case is we write x plus 2 divided by 2 equals to minus 1. And here uh, we move this 2 to the right hand side and it will become x plus 2 equals to 2 times 1 becomes here 2. And we get here x is equals to when we move plus 2 to the right hand side it will become minus 2. And here we easily get the value of x is equals to 0. So this is the uh, first root of the given equation. And here we move this 2 to the right hand side and it will become x plus 2 equals to 2 times minus 1 becomes minus 2. And when we move this plus 2 to the right hand side it will become minus 2 and minus 2. And we get the value of x is equals to minus 4. So here in the second method we quickly get the values of x uh, and there are two values of x 0 and minus 4 and in the first method we already verified that both of these two values are satisfied our given question statement. So here we finally conclude about the solution set of this question is that 0 and minus 4 be the solution set of this problem. And this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.